Because I saw, like I said, I was watching actual TV. Wow. I was watching actual TV, and I'm like... I haven't watched actual TV in a long time. Like, really? Be- Moved on to other shits. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, like, AOL people is what ruined Warner Brothers. Some fucking people. Warner Brothers, they got you slipping because they own all of DC. Mm-hmm. All of it. However, Marvel just recently, Disney that bought out Fox, they still got to borrow Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. So they can still do things outside. Warner Brothers... Yeah, but there's a very small window of outside now. Yeah, but, It's but, Sony. Yeah, but Warner Brothers could have had that all along. Yeah. And it was even worse. And they still have it all along. Their uh, animated universe is fucking awesome. Marvel's kind of sucks. Mm-hmm. But their TV shows and their movies no. aren't the same universe. No. Which is stupid as shit. And, and I understand DC has their excuse. They have the else world. Some of DC's most creative work came from this imprint, especially in the 90s. We got alternate takes of just about every character. Wonder Woman, Superman, a lot of Batman, to be honest. There is a new uh, animated Batman coming out, though. It's like set in uh, Revolutionary, or it's like Gossip a- Gig Athlete? Yes. Yeah, that, that's else. Your evening attire, sir. That was not the suit I need, Alfred. Elseworlds is the shit. You know Elseworld I want to say? Negative. Of Darkest Night. You know what it is? I believe I've heard you talk about it. It's Batman with the Green Lantern ring. We have to stop calling him Batman. Yes. I- but in the story, it's really stupid, though. Because mm-hmm. at one point, all the Justice League gets the ring. So I'm all like... <laughs> what Somebody's the- got to get it sometime. The Guardians of the Universe split the difference. And what they do is they basically seek out the greatest superheroes on Earth at the moment. They seek out Superman. They seek out Wonder Woman, or I guess uh, Hippolyta on Themyscira. And they seek out the Flash, Barry Allen. And they say, we're going to make you Green Lanterns so that you can basically round up and capture Batman once he's defeated Sinestro or if he's defeated Sinestro. Now- Why do they have the ring? They already have powers. Yeah, I don't really. Someone like Batman who has no powers, but has that fucking willpower. I know that elsewhere they have is what if Elliot Ness was... <laughs> Ironic about it, it's actually more historically accurate than the Untouchables TV show. Because mm. Elliot Ness was not a fucking... Uh... He pulls a knife, you pull a gun. He sends one of yours to the hospital, you send one of his to the morgue. That's the Chicago. Yeah, but TV shows tend to be very highly inaccurate. Unra- well- like, if you could have something that's not canon with the other thing, and they're all, all the same thing. Yeah, like Gotham. However, now, uh, Marvel's gonna technically own that. What? Well, they're not gonna own it. Warner Brothers rents it out. Yeah. Yeah. They'll still be able to oversee and take really. a, They'll be able to take a little, little bit. No. A little tickle. Well, yeah, well look at, no, what they're gonna do is they're gonna fucking... They're gonna do what Trump's doing in the country. They're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna uh... Consolidate? Yeah. Liquidate? Yeah, they're gonna liquidate <laughs> the show seriously. Because, come on, they moved it to Thursday because yeah. of Orville. And Orville ain't coming back to fall. To correct a bit of misreporting, no. There won't be an Orville slash Family Guy crossover. And yes, the Orville season two will arrive later this year. Holy mother forking shirt balls. Is that a relief to hear, you guys? We gotta wait a long time for Orville. AKA, we have a long time for Gotham. Oh, by the way, Strike Back's coming back on Cinemax. Yeah, you were telling me. Yeah, I saw the trailer. I'm like, Both that- of their other fucking shows shit can. They're like, come on, let's do it again. <laughs> well, and how many times? And you they- think they had like an Indiegogo or some like self-funding thing to get it going? Well, the thing about it, everybody who <laughs> never watches that show, they watch Banshee and stuff. Yeah, they're like, watch Banshee. Banshee was lame. I've tried to watch it. Like, you have to try to watch it. And yeah, then I mean, you're like, yeah, it runs too slow. Yeah, let's see the new Strike Back trailer. I'm assembling a team. Dangerous soldiers for dangerous missions. You want payback? You're giving me that chance. You're telling me they're gonna kill off Damien Scott and Stonebridge in the beginning of the Yeah, that's what they usually do in a new team. Go! Where's Stonebridge? Please tell me this plan involves kicking in some doors. Do you want to bet, you'll, you'll see Damien Scott's ass one more time, <laughs> and then he'll die. Like, oh my god, Strike Back's back! I didn't even wrote on my calendar, February 2nd. I'm gonna give it a chance. As is, it'll be something to watch. Yeah, but how much you wanna bet they're gonna fuck an SJW in? Cause look at the main one. Well, they've always had a female boss. That was the plan, right? But this time it looks like the, the badasses game. are gonna be the chicks. Yes. And the bitch boys are gonna be the boys. Yeah. You know what I mean? Target is running! What's your ass? Always, baby. That show made everyone equal. For but, one, you saw just as much as his ass as you did all tits. They even had a gay villain that we did not want to see, but you did it for no, that. Yeah. Get that son of a bitch back. You have my word. Why don't you two just kiss and get it over with? I know that was uh, talking shit. Or? 
or you never know, dude. Fucking everything's gotten so SJW. Like me and Marky had this conversation about it, and he's all like, "Everything's all fucking like trying to cater the gays and stuff." I'm all like, "Well, in the second Game of Thrones, that's in the books." He's talking about uh, Loras Tyrell and shit, yeah. like and Oberyn. Yeah. That's in the books. I mean, with Oberyn, they kind of hinted, but they didn't really go into detail about it. But with fucking uh, Loras, yeah, he was fucking hella gay. That's Iron Fist. But you know, show and then shows like Shameless. It is what it is.